What's up, YouTube? BK with BK Gaming 9000 here. It is Friday. You know what that means. It's the division. The vendor reset is finally here. So, like always, if you find this video helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. It really helps it out. Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get on in it. So, 1.6 drop. So, all these are going to be exotic weapons now. Let's go ahead and see if some of the talents have changed over the past couple weeks. So we have the Cassidy with self preserved Dominant and Boomstick, Liberator with Predatory, Swift and Dominant, the Historian with Talented, Trained, and History Repeats, and the Pecan with Ferocious, Adept, and Pecan. So it looks like they did change from the initial release, uh, but for, for my build, still not a uh, good role. So let's move on. So Custom PF45, we have Expert and Commanding. A Vector 45 ACP with Determined, Skilled, and Vicious. A Tactical SA-58 with Skilled, Adept, Brutal. Tactical SASG 12 k with Competent, Meticulous, and Adept. A Surplus SVD with Swift, Sustained, and Disciplined. And a Military L86 LSW, Adept, Deadly, and Unforgiving. So moving on to the gear, we're just going to pass over. Just remember... Some of the things have changed, so some of the things that I like to look for is definitely en enemy armor damage, like on these Banshee Shadow Masks, um, and health in the major attributes. Uh, health is definitely good, but you don't want to put too much crit chance or crit damage because they do have a cap for that. So you want to make sure not to completely stack because I think it runs out at like 60% or something like that. So definitely look for the other ones, but we will scroll through these and see what we got here that's sentry's call alpha bridge astute gloves everyone knows how i feel about astute still the same thing this is pretty decent there not bad final measure gloves prototype electronics mod with plus three percent skill haste pretty low roll there and a pl uh, prototype performance mod with plus 3.5 turret damage for the weapon mods, we have Quick Release Magazine. We have a Loud Vent Break, pretty decent there. We have an Angle Grip Red. And then the T2 Micro Red Dot Sight Tan, also pretty decent there for that, that one. We also have the Dune Jacket, Ranger Jacket, and all the gear caches. They do not contain exotics there. Let's head on over to the blueprints. Scrolling down here, we have the M870 Express Blueprint, which is the shotgun. And then we have the Snub Nose Rhino. We have Stamina Vest Piece. So if you're looking for a reckless chest piece, this will be your source. We have Firearms Knee Pads. A High Velocity Magazine Blueprint. A TI Rant Suppressor Blueprint. A Performance Gear Mod Blueprint. And then we get to the 229s and stuff like that below. So I will see you guys upstairs. We're here at the Advanced Weaponry Vendor. Let's go ahead and see what they got for us today. So we have the 586 Magnum with Expert and Vicious. We have a Tactical Vector 45 ACP with Hurried, Talented, and Swift. A G36C with Prepared, Deadly, and Focus. That's actually really good right there. I would think about getting that, honestly. We have a Marine Super 90 with Predatory, Meticulous, and Destructive. We have a SOCOM M1A, which I know a lot of people want to bring back, with Talented, Adept, and Unforgiving. And a classic RPK-74 with Determined, Vicious, and Adept. Moving on to the mods, we have a High Velocity Magazine. We have a Compensator. We have a Small Grip Red. And then we have Improved Iron Sights. So nothing too interesting with the mods there. Everybody knows I like to go up to the front and check out to see what the Dark Vendor has. Wow, I can't even run there and what the two vendors at the front have. So, starting with the Dark Zone Gear Vendor, we have a Tactical SASG 12K with Swift, Trained, and Vicious, a Spec Ops Holster with Nimble, a Prototype Firearms Mod, pretty low one right there, with, point, uh, with plus 2.5% Exotic Damage Resilience, Improved Iron Sights, and then the Dark Zone Sealed Cache. Moving on to the front two vendors over here. For the Weapon Vendor, we have... Scrolling down, an SRS A1 with Meticulous, Skilled, and Harmful. And then for their, sorry, for the mod, they have a Hand Stop. And then for the Gear Vendor, we have Tactical Holster with Nimble as well, plus 6% Skill Haste. 
And then a prototype performance mod with plus 3% smart cover damage resilience. So that's pretty decent there too. Uh, don't forget that the reward claim vendor is over here now at the front. So if you have anything to, to get there, any skins, go ahead and claim it right there. But I will see you guys in the DZ. Okay, agents. So we're here in DZ02. Let's see what the gear vendor has for us today. We have a Spec Ops mask with Tenacious. A lot of people like using this since in 1.6. You can use a med kit at full health, so the tenacious talent is really good, especially if you're trying to PvP. You can just pop a med kit before battle, get that extra 10% for 10 seconds, and hopefully that'll help you out. We have a robust, a robust chest piece, rolled towards electronics, a tactical pack with specialized and has stamina, which is pretty good. And operator pads, spec ops holster with sturdy, and operator glove savage rolled towards stamina. With pretty decent stats there on the crit hit damage, I'd probably re-roll the pistol damage off or something else. So, that'll do it for DZO2. Let's head on over to DZO3. Alright, agents. So, we're here in DZO3. Let's go ahead and see what the weapon vendor has for us this week. We have a Rhino Special with Expert and Sustain. A PP-19 with Capable, Sustained, and Hurried. A Police M4 with Focus, Vicious, and Responsive. Not bad there. A Super 90 with Determined, Self-Preserved, and Accurate. A First Wave M1A with Sustained, Toxic, and Ferocious. That's actually pretty decent for PvE right there. And a Military M60E4 with Talented, Sustained, and Deadly. So that'll do it for DZO3. Let's head on over to DZO4. Okay, agents. So we're here in DZO4. Let's see what the gear mob vendor has for us this week. We have a Prototype Stamina mob. Pretty low roll right there with plus 3% Skill Haste. And the prototype performance mod with plus 6.5% support station duration, which is pretty good, especially for the new incursion. So let's head on over to DZ05. Alright, agents, so we're here in DZ05. Let's see what the weapon mod vendor has for us this week. We have a quick release magazine. We have an SR7 suppressor, pretty decent right there. We have a vertical grip. And we have an ACOG scope, 4x zoom. Not bad there as well. So. Let's head on over to DZ06. Okay, agents, so we're here in DZ06. Let's go ahead and see what the special vendor has for us this week. We have a Hunter's Faith Mask. Not bad right there. We have a Tactician's Authority Vest. We have a Reclaimer Support Pack rolled towards electronics. We have Knee Pads of the Nomad with that new All Resistance. I'd probably trade that in for something different. We have Sentry's Call Holster and Firecrest Gloves with rolled towards firearms not bad there I still wouldn't get it and then we have the anchorage jacket and the new tulip jacket right there as well as the dark zone sealed cache so let's head on over to the new DZ's there are a couple new DZ's with 1.6 so we're gonna head on over to the safe room that is in I believe DZ08 and I'll see you guys there okay agents so we're here in the new DZ08 let's go ahead and see what this dark zone gear vendor has for us today we have a Tactical Mask with Enduring, rolled towards Stamina. We have a Tactical Vest with Vigorous, also rolled towards Stamina. A Tactical pass, a Pack with Specialist, or Specialized, uh, rolled with Electronics. Operator Pads with Accomplished, rolled towards Stamina. Gunslinger Holster with Sturdy, with a couple extra health. And Astute Gloves rolled towards Electronics. So I will see you guys in DZ09 at the next safe house. Alright agents, so we're here in DZ09, let's see what the Dark Zone Weapon Mod Vendor has for us today. We have a Quick Release Magazine, a Muzzle Brake, a Vertical Grip, as well as a T2 Micro Red Dot Sight Tan. So, that'll do it for Inside the Dark Zone, let's go ahead and start heading over to our checkpoints. We're going to start over here at our checkpoint uh, at Park Ave in DZ08. See you guys then. Okay, agents. So we're here at the new DZ on Park Ave. Let's go ahead and see what they have for us today. We have a military M9 with expert and sustained. A Vector 45 ACP with unforgiving, responsive, and commanding. A G36C with vicious, destructive, and focused. That's actually also really good. It's a little bit lower DMG than the one that we saw at the base of operations, but it's not bad. We have a double-barreled sawed-off with Adept, Meticulous, and Deadly, an M700 Tactical with Predatory, Trained, and Elevated, and a Military MK46 with Accurate, Predatory, and Meticulous. So, for the new 
checkpoints and whatnot, uh, the way I'm going to cover them is just by telling you where I'm at, and that way I don't waste time telling you the extra stuff that you don't need to hear. So once I get to that next checkpoint, we'll just see what they have. Okay, Agents, now we're here at East 53rd. Let's see what they got. We have a Navy MP5N with Accurate, Deadly, and Swift. Not bad there. I like the MP5. We have Spec Ops Glove with Decisive. We have Prototype Performance Mod with plus 7% turret health, which is really good. And we have an MK4 M5A2 scope 15 times. I'd pass on that one. Okay, now we're here at East 46th Street. We have Paratrooper SVD with Predatory, Competent, and Discipline. An Operator Mask with Tenacious. Rolled towards Electronics this time. A Prototype Firearms Mod, pretty high one there, with health as well. A Quick Release Magazine. Now we're here at East 42nd Street. Let's see what they got. A Black Market SASG-12S with Fierce, Talented, and Sustained. A Tactical Mask with Refresh. A Prototype Firearms Mod, kind of mid-range there, with plus 1% critical hit chance. A Small Grip Red. And let's move on to the next one. Now we're here at West 34th Street. Let's see what they got. We have a Converted SMG-9 with Commanding, Responsive, and Talented. Operator Glove Savage rolled towards Stamina. Really good ones there. Prototype Stamina Mod. Low one there and High Velocity Magazine. Now we're here at West 39th Street. Let's see what they got. We have a SOCOM M1A with Fierce, Accurate, and Ferocious. Not bad there, especially if you want to reroll Fierce for something different. Operator Pads with Prosperous. Prototype Performance Mod plus 5.5% First Aid Ally Heal. A Flash Hider. Now we're here on West 42nd Street. Let's go ahead and see what they got. We have a military M60 E4 with accurate, adept, and vicious. A tactical holster with recover. A prototype electronics mod, kind of mid-range one there. And then a vertical grip foliage green. Now that we're here at West 46th Street, let's see what they got. We have a military P416 with fierce, dominant, and responsive. We have an operator mask with rehabilitated, rolled towards electronics. We have a prototype stamina mod, mid roll with plus 3,000 health. And then a hand stop foliage green. Alright, now that we're here at West 53rd, let's see what they got. We have a military L86 LSW with dominant, capable, and skilled. Spec Ops glove with cunning, rolled towards electronics. Prototype firearms mod, pretty high there, but it's got plus 2% all resistance. I would probably pass on that. Then we have a high velocity magazine. So with that comes the end of the vendor reset video. A lot has been added with the new dark zone up at the top. So thank you for bearing with me as the video did get a little bit longer. Um, if you guys like this video, please smack that like button again. It really does help out the channel. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are going to pick anything up and what you think of 1.6 so far. I'm interested to hear what you guys say. Till then, see you guys in next time.